let me just tell y'all what be having me so confused about white people, right? So Fannie Lou Hamer's Facebook page made a post. And if my memory serves me correctly, because I screenshot this like last week and I haven't thought about it since, I think the page posted a picture of like, two little cartoon characters one was white and one was black and the white one was like oh like why are you posting about that you know now isn't black history month not until february and the little black character was like oh uh you know i celebrate my history year round black history month is for white people right okay made a point now i want to talk about the comments that i saw from a white guy So this white guy comes in comments. He's like, it's no wonder why we have racism. Nobody wants to see that crap all year. Huh? So you telling me that we have racism because black people talk about their own history and culture to each other. And like, huh? Like instead of, instead of just forcing it into one month, we celebrate our culture year round. Isn't that kind of like the norm for all cultures? Like, like I would not be surprised to see a Chinese person talking about Chinese history any old random month of the year. I don't expect them to wait until Asian American and Pacific Islander history month to talk about their history. No, like what? You know, of course it's nice to have the month to highlight those things because of course with people who are not white, it, a lot of times our history is not regarded as a main part of the curriculum. Our history is an elective or something, right? So it's nice to have that month because, you know, a lot of times our history goes unexplored, untalked about, un whatever. But by no means does that mean like you should only talk about your history during one month out of the year. Like, what? And I'm just confused because white people be jumping through so many hoops to defend why they racist. Just say you racist and move on. Like, like I could post a picture of my dinner and the food be touching because I don't mind my food touching. You know, my mom is one of those people who she hates if her food touches. Like she literally will buy paper plates with the different sections because she really does not like what her food touches. I hate those plates because I want my food to touch. Like I'll be like putting my food over the lines in the plate because I want my food to touch, whatever, right? But anyway, say I post a picture of my plate and the food is touching. It's going to be somebody white in the comments. Oh, look at the food touching. This is why we have racism. Like, it's no wonder why we have racism. Like, what are you talking about, bro? Like, like, what are you saying? Like, y'all just be, <laughs> y'all just be all over the place. Like, just a mess. Like, huh? We have racism because you motherfuckers are racist. That's all. End of discussion. <laughs> like, like, what are you saying? Ain't no, oh, this is, this is why we have racism. See, uh, this Facebook page posted about talking about Black History Month all year. Like, what are you talking about? And it really makes me like, I don't know. I be side-eyeing white people because it's like, why are you so threatened by black people just embracing our culture? You know, because again, I would not be like pressed if somebody else embraced their culture at any random time of the year. Like, like for example, June is a uh, pride month, right? You think that I'm going to sit here and tell a gay person it's not June. Like you can't, you can't tell people you're gay because it's not June. That don't make no sense. That does not make any sense. So you sitting here telling black people, we can't talk about our history anytime but February. That does not make any sense. It's like, no, 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 no. My identity is not confined to this month. Now, of course, it's nice to have this month to, you know, highlight my identity because of the fact that a lot of times it gets erased. But that's not the only time that I am my identity. That's not the only time that I'm going to talk about my identity. So you sitting here like... Why would just be lost in the sauce? But anyway, let me get to my next point. So I go to this guy's profile and I look at his pictures, right? So here goes a picture of the man. Looks like a caveman if ever I've seen one, right? Okay. Then here goes a picture that he posted of his mother and her mother. Look like two Beckys to me, right? Okay, all right. But then here goes a picture of him claiming to be of the Osage tribe. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, Okay. But my point is, so this man claims to be Native American. All right, now, this is my thing. I'm not Native American. So, I mean, like, you know, Native Americans have this thing with white people where they will pretend that white people are Native, right? So they'll be like, oh, uh, you know, like, blood quantum is a colonial concept. Yes, Christopher Columbus III is Native American, right? So they have this sick, twisted thing. I think it's very, like, 
because it's like you literally sitting here embracing the children of the people who attempted to wipe you off the face of this planet as your own like that's very perverted very nasty you know what i'm saying like that's deeply like deeply colonized mentally behavior but whatever like i said i'm not native american so it ain't it ain't really you know no sweat off my back right but i think it's so interesting how like <laughs> i think it's so interesting how white people <laughs> can just step into any identity like this reminds me of how like white people be <laughs> Why would we talk about Elon Musk and Charlie, whoever? I don't know. I don't even know who Charlie, the last name starts with a T or something. Therizan, I don't know who that is, right? But they always like, yeah, you know, like they call us African-Americans because they're South African and they moved to America. And it's like, yeah, that's not how that works, buddy. But you see how they be quick to try to slide into your identity? Baby, quick. And it's like something about the caves. It's like. Something about boundaries just make them like, Ugh. you know what I'm saying? Like something about when you say, hey, this is not for you, you know, like something about that just really like, ooh, they don't like that. Because, you know, that colonizer, that, that colonizer mindset has them thinking that everything in the world is theirs for the taking, right? So the moment you say, well, no, this identity or this whatever is not yours, ooh, they don't like that. They don't like that at all.